It won't hurt no, my feelings. No, I know what you were trying to say, Oliver. It's okay. Good morning, Harsh and Vikings. Buenos dias. I'm the student who's ready for the weekend, Oliver. And I'm the teacher who's counting down until 2.10, Mr. Hesser. Weirdly, I've missed that joke the past few weeks. Thank you. I think it's it's so funny. I'm a, I'm a funny person. Oh, you think you're funny? I never thought it was funny. Today is Friday, April 8th, 2022. Today is a green day, and there are six school days left until I learn, including today. It's time for Harshman Happenings. Students, next Monday is going to be our iLearn practice day where, where all students are going to be required to take the iLearn practice assessment. All students are going to be required to take the iLearn practice assessment. This is to ensure that students know how to use the tools that are on iLearn and help sort of run through the day of like what the schedule will look like for iLearn. Why does it have to be so hard? Now it's time for my favorite part of the week. Friday, top five. Five. It's National Poetry Month, so we wanted to ask students and teachers who their favorite poets are. Um, my favorite poet is Miki Giovanni. I've loved her for years, since I was little. Uh, so much so, I've seen her maybe seven times. All of her books are signed, um, and I own all of her books. And I actually had to get to sit down with her about two years ago and had a really good conversation with her. And then prior to that, a couple years before that, it was really good. Um, she focuses a lot on love and um, the state of the world. So if you're interested in any of those two things, look her up. One of my favorite poets is Emily Dickinson. I love Emily Dickinson because she wrote her poetry for herself, not for anyone else. And she really played with the punctuation and rules of grammar and just did her own thing. Across the country, there were several thousands of students who qualified for the Spring to Success contest that Achieve 3000 held. There were 20 winners that were selected, and one of those winners was from H.L. Harshman Middle School, the one, the only, Matthew Rodales Vargas! <laughs> As a winner, he will receive the JBL Vibe Tune wireless in-ear headphones and an honorary certificate. Congratulations, Matthew. Now it's time for Before You Go, Stay in the Know. Y'all, there is just one more week until we start the iLearn. Are you serious? Take some deep breaths. Get excited for our pep week next week. It is going to be a great time and definitely will make you excited for iLearn. Why are you being nice to him? That seems for now. Make it a fabulous Friday. Mm -hmm.